the problem about caring what other people think. A lot of times in our daily life, we struggle. We struggle with <laughs> the push and pull we get from others about what they think about us, what they're going to say if we dress a certain way, if we act a certain way, if we eat this, if we do that, if we go this place, if our moral ethics don't line up the same ways that theirs does. We often go every day, I know most of us, maybe not everyone, <laughs> we overanalyze everything about ourselves and this makes us really unhappy. We start to think like, you know, we start to want to be people pleasers. We start to think, you know, well, we can't do our dreams because maybe it's not in alignment with um the moral ethics of society and the way we've been taught or maybe it goes against our cultural background or like you know for example you might be from a very strict culture where they don't allow women to dress a certain way and you want to be a bikini model <laughs> or you know you're 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 black and you're not and everyone in your community always tells you skateboarding or surfing is something white people do but these are things we come in close contact with every day even in smaller things and it it restricts everything we do it it puts our, we put ourselves in this tiny box again it's this tiny box that it comes to every day that we put ourselves in um kind of like we're so pressured not to, to mess up or to do something wrong even and this robs us of our identity of our self-expression of who we are as human beings here on planet earth and a lot of times this happens with our close family. I know a lot of times people don't want to hear that. But in close relation to your family, a lot of times this happens. And they might not do it on purpose. They might think it's for your, your highest good. This happens with your spouse even. They might think it's for your highest good. Um, but they, some people tend to have very harsh judgments because they've been taught a certain way or they think a certain way. And they think that everything should come off the way they perceive the world. So you might marry someone who is very, very analytical of like, uh, he wants his woman to dress a certain way, so he must pick out everything she wears. <laughs> but then um, the wife, she wants him to be happy, so she allows this. But in her mind, she wants to be an individual. She wants to you know go off and do what she wants, wants to wear what she wants to wear. Maybe your favorite color is orange. I don't know if I can know. But the point is that she can't do this because she's trying to conform and please her spouse. Now, we do this every day, whether we realize it or not, on a large or smaller scale. Smaller scale. But when we care what people think, we put we, we it's like we're saying that what other people think about us means more than what we think about ourselves. So we rob ourselves of our own true happiness. So maybe we don't pursue a, pursue a certain career, pursue, pursue a certain passion, pursue a certain dream. And we leave it at that. We, like kill, we kill ourselves slowly inside because we no longer follow our own inner truth, our own inner happiness because of what the next person will say. And I've always heard this saying, like, oh, you got to care about what people think even a little. But why? Like, why is that even a thing? Because I think we often, often misunderstand that what matters most is our own true happiness. And I feel the right people will come to you when you're following your bliss and following these uh, things like that. I feel we often live in societies and then we stay in relationships that are unbeneficial and that are abusive emotionally and draining physically, mentally, and emotionally. And we mask it as like, oh, they're just trying to help you, or oh, it's for your highest good, or oh, we know what's best, or oh, we're saving you. or. But what we're doing is robbing people from their own experience in life. We're robbing ourselves of our own experience in life when we're following what other people's standards are. And basically, that's what's happening um, quite often or than not these days. And this is something that I actually deal with as well. For example, <laughs> and this is personal. I don't know why I get personal with you guys, but I get personal. Um, I used to be in modeling. And it was on the side of like bikini, lingerie, things, stuff like that. But I stopped doing it because I felt 
judged very, very harshly from people around me, from family, from the internet, from whatever it was. But this type of modeling made me feel very, very liberating. It made me feel very liberated. And this was something that I truly did for myself. And But I used to receive harsh judgments not only from society, the thoughts of family, what they might think, but also my spouse. And this does not necessarily mean like, oh, you're you're wrong or, you know. But maybe, if you look at it from a different light, this means that you just need to find your tribe. Find the people that understand. And maybe it's another example of that not everybody's supposed to understand your journey because it is your journey alone. What truly makes you happy is following your bliss. But what we allow to get in the way a lot is the judgments of others, their harsh criticism, the fact that people, whether they realize it or not, they use their love against us. They say, if you don't act the way I want you to act, I will take my love back. <laughs> and you, you know, like threatening you, whether people realize it or not. But this is where you have to be strong enough to say, I love myself. <laughs> and do whatever the fuck you want to do. <laughs> And this is what I am learning and relearning as we speak right now. Who knows what's going to come out of that. <laughs> but what I do know for sure is that you will lose someone someone, or people in the process. And maybe they're just not supposed to be there. Maybe they'll come back. Maybe they'll forgive you. Maybe they'll learn to love you for who you are. But it's your job to love yourself for who you are. First and foremost. Like, who gives a fuck about what everybody else has to say or what they care about or, like, how you come off? A lot of times I struggle with making these videos. Like, I don't have enough equipment. I don't have the right editor. I make excuses or I excuse myself. But the fact is that I'm very passionate about sharing shit like this. And that's all I want to do. I just want to share with you guys. So who the fuck cares? I also get scared because I'm like, well... I don't have enough followers, so who's gonna like? Who's gonna watch? Who like? Who cares? Who's gonna care? But I care because I'm getting it out there. That's something that we have to realize, you know. Another thing is, like, a thing that I struggle with is being a goody goody or being a people pleaser or like portraying that I have everything together or. Um, Staying in the lines. It's like I train myself to stay in the lines. Because in the past, one can call it wild. But it's really not wild. It's just not the norm. It's not It's not what everyone expects their daughter or to be or what everyone expects um, someone to be. But who says it's wrong? And then again, that's the robbing someone of their own experience. Robbing yourself of your own experience. Now, it's not to say that, of course, you will go through things and you will learn from life, life lessons. Like, if you do something stupid, of course, you're going to learn from it. But just because you're going down a non-traditional path doesn't mean it's wrong. And then if you're happy doing it, definitely doesn't mean it's wrong. It's just very different from what it, what someone else says you're supposed to be doing. And what's ironic is that a lot of people, the path that they're telling you to live, they don't live themselves half the time. And the path that they're living, they're not happy on themselves. So, what are you going to do? At the end of the day, you got to make yourself happy and you got to care about being free and setting yourself free and making yourself happy. So, who cares what other what everyone else cares about? Care what you care about. And that's all that matters. <laughs> Making yourself happy, first and foremost. Because you have you at the end of the day. Yes, it's all about making connections and being happy and blissful with others and sharing with others. But you can only do that unless you love yourself first. And loving yourself is doing exactly what the fuck you want to do without the approval of others. It's the approval of your damn self. <laughs> so yeah, love thyself. And loving God is doing honoring God. So would you restrain God? Would you say, God, you can't go here. You can't go there. You can't adventure out there. You know, you can't walk that way because this person might say that or you have little money no go where the fuck you please when you please when you want to you wouldn't restrict god and being an image of, made of god why do you restrict god 
Why do you restrict God from finding happiness, from exploration, from all these things? Think of it that way if you have to. But definitely, definitely understand that. Be you, be carefree, live freely, explore, venture out, roam, seek seek new adventures, and don't let no one tell you a damn thing. <laughs> Peace. Be dope, be you.